Bobby. And Bobby is already 13 years old. So I want to give him a little bit to drink, but he doesn't want. She says, we're not too far. Istu desku daš lahko v svoj avto? V svoj avto. Fotro avto v isto stanje spravi, kot je bil. Raba podrezica pa desko. Misliš, da boš v avto spal? Da imaš svojo kareto, pa da je desko v noc. Gled barabin. Kaj se ne spomne? Ti sem povedala. Sem ti povedala. Tam imaš svojo kareto, tisto desko, ki si jo v avto očetil, dal jo, da je ven, če ne policijo poklicala. Ok. Avto ni tvoj. Ok. Lahko ga voziš, ni pa tvoj. Ok. Tisto desko sem dal tam, zaradi tega, ker bom šel v Ljubljano. Ne bo šel. Ne? Ne. Ker bom policijo poklicala. Ne bo šel. Zakaj je pa bila deska? Zato, da boš spal noter. Tako. Ne, ne boš. In ključ od avta mi dej. Tisto bom jaz povedal. Ključ od avta mi dej takoj. Tisto desko sem noter dal, zato, da bom lahko noter bil. Pa ne boš. Tam ne imaš avto, v garaži, tam. Da je desko noter, pa boš noter spal. Mama, ti se mu za dva, tri dni, da stvari upravimo v Ljubljani. Nema. Ja? Ne? Ne. Ok. Brez krpi. Ok. Še kaj drugega? Ne. Kaj hočeš fotra za točku, kar hitro se da? Baraba, to ga ti hočeš, ne? Ti bi ga rekel. Zakaj? Se mi ne dovoliš do Ljubljane prideti? Kaj pa imaš ti v Ljubljani? Zakaj pa ne? S fotrom. Kaj imaš ti v Ljubljani s fotrom? Zakaj pa ne? Zato, ker sebi pomaga je v Ljubljani, ne vse to ni treba. Zdaj pa ne. On je bolj pred pameti. Ga hočeš zatočiti? Teč. Zatočiti se ti tle noter. Teč, hitro, teč. We had a heated conversation with my mother. Really heated conversation right now with the mother. At the end of this video, I'm going to demonstrate you what kind of conversation was it. I just have to explain about the audio, da razložim, kako je do tega audio sploh audio posnetka prišlo. This audio came to life during the time when I was recording a post here, did you see? Do tega audio je prišlo, ko sem snemal video, ko sem prevadil video. No, po koncu sem bil celo noč, delal sem. Zjutaj sem dugo pa lepo presenečen, je svoje vrstno. Ampak tu je čisto ena taka čist popolnoma normalna stvar. Čist nekaj, kar se je vedno dogajalo. Se pravi, tukaj na tem posnetku, tukaj, kateri je tri ure pa sedem minut dolg, si lahko, se pravi, gledam, MQ Ultra, tri families identified. Tukaj si lahko pogledate ta audio posnetek. To je v angliščini. In English language, I have translated from Slovenian into English language, which you can see also is posted on this post here. Entire audio, give in and out about some families I have identified on May 4, 2023. Yeah. And so the mother rushed in. I was up all night long. I was working, doing this stuff. Rushed in and... Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't done this for a while. Uh, didn't waste much time. You can hear her actually yelling somewhere here toward the end of the video. You can hear her assault me uh, verbally, basically. Uh, 
she have committed god knows how many verbal assaults like this since my return from poland but this was my entire life like this i'm 51 it started 50 years ago it's nothing new this is for her just the normal way to communicate to exchange words and so on this is just the way it was my entire life it always was like this i always was treated like mentally retarded person that's all there was she's got a grammar school and they admitted her from pharmaceutical company a class that according to her qualifies her for a high school equivalent to a high school a position a job um and that basically gives her the right to um well to do this kind of stuff no what actually gives her the right to do this stuff like this was entire slovenian psychiatry that leaned behind her that gave her a support what gave her the right was actually a police brutality an entire novel master police force would enter this house and engage but I think it's going to do the job. A little in ingenuity, we got to get this through. So, that was a psychiatrist, Peter Kops, who was very, very sarcastic about all that stuff. Bam, bam. You know, still better than a tent or anything like this. See, outside is raining, and here inside is raining not. That's a good thing. A little later. Uh, job is finished, job is complete, the car is ready for the mission, it's a little car, I had no idea that uh, you can do stuff like this in like a little car like that, I mean there is enough place right there for, I could even have a girlfriend with me, this is not bad at all, I mean this is such a small car and actually so spacey, good solutions for this Volkswagen Polo. Um, this is about 190 centimeters long, if not more than that. And so this is pretty damn cool. Uh, I'm 182, I am six tall, and this is, I don't know, maybe 6.5, maybe. I have no idea. So this is pretty damn decent everything you really need in car it's actually right here if i knew this i probably would have gone for a smaller vehicle i basically bought that citroen to look uh, as invisible as much as possible so that you can do the stuff like this and be completely invisible plus that uh, I got all the seats inside. I like that stuff. You can put the sideways uh, and uh, the seats up and it's like nothing ever happened, man. It's pretty damn good. Uh, what uh, <clears throat> what went on with, uh, with the people that were doing this kind of stuff? I don't know. I know they damaged the car. I know that... Uh, there was a German who claimed me that he did took the seat out. There was a German who claimed me that he pulled all the seat out, the rear seat, when in fact it's just the bottom I have removed and then laid down, uh, you know, that side of the the seat and the, the other, with the other seat still is in place. And so this really was not necessary. So this is, I like that. Pretty damn good setting. Um, a bigger dilemma is going to be how to secure the car. The car is going to have to be secured. Um, and so I kind of figure out this. Um, this car is really not safe. Uh, because it's got a, quite a spacious windows. It's easy to smash in. Um, not a very good setting. And... Um, it's electronically operated. It does not give you a chance for manual lock. Plus, it's got a door handles in a very, very difficult position to 
um, to keep the car locked regardless. But I have already solution for that stuff. I, I am prepared for that stuff already too. So, um, but yeah, yeah you know, pretty much you got to know what you're doing uh, or you can be in a lot of trouble real fast too. Dangerous because the windows can go down automatically and stuff like that. So this is dangerous. This is just probably the worst car that you would want to take chance next to the car I purchased. I just realized that I'm going to have to do some stuff, some extras on a car I purchased to prepare for travel, you know, for that kind of, for adventures and so on, for that kind of stuff. Um, you know, consider like, uh, you know, like extra bars and stuff like this. Um, yeah, you know, that kind of stuff is actually a must when, when you're doing this stuff like this. Consider that kind of stuff to protect your life, basically. To protect your life. I mean, when you go out there, you don't know anything about uh, how things can turn and so on. So.